Hey guys, how's it going? Kermode here. In this video, I want to show you guys how you can create a song out of just one idea. What do I mean by that? So sometimes I sit down to write a song, but I'm just not feeling that inspired. And when I'm in that position, instead of just giving up, I usually try to make Ableton kind of collaborate with me in a sense and help me write that song and this song uh here this song of mine called i got is a really good example of that where i had just one bass riff which i'll show you guys in a minute and then from there i was able to turn that into an entire track so let's take a peek That's that's one drop there. This is part B. And then this is yet another drop. Now this tutorial is actually very closely related to a tutorial I did a while back called creating a dubstep drop out of 808s or something like that, totally forget what I titled it. And essentially the concept is taking a simple riff and resampling it while you process it. Now what do I mean by that? So what I want you to do is write a single riff and then while looping that riff, I want you guys to then add distortion, add other things to create something completely different. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off the original drop here and I'm going to open up this sample and I'm going to show you guys what's actually going on here. And you can see it's part of a much, much bigger recording. And if I jump to the front of the sample here and play it, you're going to hear something like this. Let me play you a few other parts. We'll jump through. So how do I make something like this? Okay, so let me show you first step one. You want to create some sort of riff easy. I'm not even going to write a riff. I'm just going to grab some sort of synth line in the track, save some time here, and I'm going to throw serum on. So step one is create your riff. So in this case, we have this. From there, you want to use a patch that you actually like for the sound. So I'm going to go through my own sounds here, and I'm going to pick a patch that I like. So this totally changes the vibe of the song, but I went with this patch here. So let's say you get to this point in a track, you've got the drums going, you've got some effects, and you've got a basic line, but you don't know what to do. So this is where this technique comes into play. So what you want to do is you want to create a new track where you're going to be resampling or specifically taking the input from that bass track. It would be resampling if you had it solo. What we're going to then do is arm it loop this section, and then we're going to start to process this thing. Now I'm going to show you guys a few ways I like to. Now first is using beat repeat. And specifically, I like to set up beat repeat so it kind of glitches occasionally. And so to do that, I have this little preset here called glitch takes. You can just copy this if you want. But what's really important is just bringing down the chance. So it only happens, you know, one in 10 times. <laughs> Then you also want the variation up completely, so every once in a while, when it does glitch, it will be a different rhythm. Perfect. That's step one.
From here, we can grab any type of plugin we want. So maybe I'll grab Fab Filter Saturn and you know, I could grab other things if I wanted as well. And I'm also going to put OTT on at the end. So anyway, I process this sound, it'll always kind of come out the same sort of frequency range or typically. So I'll grab Saturn and you know what? I'll also grab maybe Fab Filter Volcano. So we have a filter and we have a distortion plugin going. And from here, I just scroll through presets while I record. Now the only other step I usually do to this is I usually add some sort of saturation to the end so I can actually drive it a little bit and use that as a limiter. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to kind of clip the sound a bit so that it chops it and makes it one volume. And then I usually like to sidechain compress, compress while I resample the sound as well, though in this case I won't. So let's do that again. Let's record, go back to our sound. Another thing you can do while doing this is also edit the original preset. And I would do this for a while. I would keep resampling, I would keep resampling, I would keep resampling. Once you've done that, now we'll go back to our previous loop recording, is you just chop up your favorite parts. And you're listening for patterns within these different recordings. Like really weird, whatever was going on there. But then after I chopped everything up, I ended up with this here. Then later I changed things, I have a different pattern. In the next drop, I'll add the drums back in. And you can hear, it's actually quite simple. You know, when you just listen to the drums and bass, you probably hear that and you're like, oh, I, I could do that. I can chop up samples and do that. And then after that, you just add effects and, and you fill out the song a little. there we go if you're ever feeling uninspired in the studio you've got this riff you've been listening to it over and over and over and you don't know what to do with it use processing use randomness to your advantage to create variation then chop up that variation and turn that into a song so thanks again guys my name's Kermode this is my track I got if you liked this technique uh, maybe go check out the song and support it I'll put it in the description of this video it's off my universe LP that is also out or coming out soon depending on when I drop this video. So thanks again, guys. My name is Kermode. Peace.